What is the best jet sweep in the game and how you can go ahead and optimize it to get cheap and easy yards? Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and skis I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe button, also that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I want, I want to go ahead and show you basically a video on um, a, a concept that I've been using, um, which will help you run better with jet sweeps. Now, I use jet sweeps uh, in my scheme. I try to show it to my opponent a couple times to get them overreacting and then build off the rest of my scheme based off of that. But I do want to let you know that not all jet sweeps are, are basically rated the same. There is a particular type of jet sweep which is much better when it comes to blocking than the standard jet sweeps that you might have in your playbook. So I'm looking at a couple of different uh, versions of jet sweeps out of the Jets playbook right here. And none of these actually have the correct makeup of the correct uh, jet sweep. And you really can't find this in a, a run of a part of uh, concepts in your book where it says jet sweep. This is actually a touch pass, a jet touch pass. So let me go and show you the difference between some of the different concepts we just took a look at. We're going to go into pistols double. And I want to show you a couple different things. We have basically the jet inside zone, but we also have the jet touch pass. Now, if you take a look at the difference between the two, the run play and then the, the touch pass, it's denoted as a pass, but it really is a run. Uh, but if you take a look at the running back, you've got the running back that's actually doing the inside zone animation. He's going in between the left tackle and left guard. But the jet touch pass is actually going, and he's motioning it out, and he's running with the jet pass. This is very critical to understand is that this is going to give you an extra blocker to help you seal around that edge and to give you some easy yards. So I discovered this when I broke down the Arizona playbook for my patrons, for my patrons re recently. And since I got into the Jets playbook, um, I wanted to go ahead and bring this and post a video on this and why this is going to help you dramatically. Now let me go ahead and show you where you can find a touch pass in other different types of playbooks too. So the name of the pass is going to be the jet, a jet Touch Pass. But if you take a look at the animation right here out of the spread playbook, you see how the running back comes up and you have a seal blocking. Um, out of the, the wide normal off, he comes out. Um, out of that spread flex, he actually sh comes shooting out. Uh, if you look at the Raiders, the Raiders have got a, a good version of this out of the spread Y flex. He comes shooting out. Uh, obviously out of the double, uh, out of the Jets double. Saints has got a couple different versions of it. He got the trio. Uh, Texans has got a version of this Browns so the Chiefs the Bears uh, and obviously the Cardinals the Cardinals are probably the one of the more better stacked playbooks uh, that actually have this so if you want to use a jet a jet sweep a just touch pass in your scheme you definitely want to go ahead and use this uh, and as you can see even um, the categorizations actually have this as a run under this particular play but then it has it as a pass to the other play so this is what you want to take a look at you want to look for that running back to jet out and actually go out and block and you'll notice a huge difference in the blocking all right, so I'm going to run against the basically random uh, cover, or basically 34 defenses, so I don't know what the CPU is going to do. And we're just going to run this play with the, with the touch pass, and you're going to see what's going to happen is that running back is actually going to come out and give me an extra blocker. So let's take a look at this instant replay. So right here, because it's a, a touch pass, this running back is going to come out and be an extra blocker, and he's going to actually come out and actually take away uh, one of the defenders that's actually going to get some edge pressure, allowing these guys up to get to the next level. So all I have to do is just take this thing wide and then turn up and make a play uh, against, against the defense. Now, if we actually use the standard version, uh, watch what happens with the jet pass. The running back is not going to be in that area, and I'm actually going to have probably a defender in my, era, in my area. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this one more time uh, with the standard jet pass. And the key to this is actually you have to get down low and make a play where you're not going to have that extra blocker. So you can see uh, this edge is all bottled up and he's got the contain to come down. So if, if this guy doesn't hold his block, which he doesn't, uh, he's also got another defender here to contain and bottle up this jet sweep. But if we leave the jet pass, that running back is going to come out and pick up a block for me 
and give me an opportunity to pick up some extra yards. So that's what I do like about this particular play. Jets, uh, the, the jet sweep is just something to actually go ahead and just catch your opponent off guard. Uh, you could throw it into your scheme. You can go ahead and do a passing scheme run that take that take that that wide receiver motion him over your defender is gonna your, your opponent is probably gonna get a little bit crazy he'll probably try to over uh, over connect and then i'll actually open you up uh for other types of plays that you can throw against him so that's what i like about it is that if you keep showing him the jet pass jet uh, jet jets uh jet sweep he's gonna have to start defending it because you you will get nice running off the edge you can get some pretty good blocking and, and it, you will get a nice little 10 yard gainer against your opponent if you do like these type of tips, go ahead and smash that like button. I'll be rolling out more offensive defensive tips on the Jets playbook and some other different types of playbooks. And uh, guys, if you like, if you use Jets and you want to actually go ahead and know how to just full scheme, I'm going to be breaking down probably about six or seven formations out of the Jet playbook. This has got a lot of great plays, and I don't even know where to begin. I just have to start recording videos uh, for my Patreon. So if you do use Jets, go uh, go to my Patreon uh, for a dollar. You can access to uh, the full, you know, uh, seven, eight formation play breakdown that actually can help you win a lot more games in Madden. So once again, thank you for your support. Until next time.